hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly like my videos if they help in your learning now i am going to solve this particular problem in this problem we are required to specify the x y and z coordinates of the mass center of the quadrant of the homogeneous solid cylinder right so we have the this is one by fourth of the homogeneous solid cylinder right so we are required to locate the centroid of this uh, homogeneous solid cylinder right so if we uh, consider a plane of symmetry right so if we pass a cutting section or a plane at the mid length at the at the mid of this 240 mm right so then we that plane of symmetry will divide uh, this homogeneous solid cylinder into two equal parts right and this plane of symmetry will be at a distance of 240 divided by 2 along the y axis is right so now if we consider that this pink is that plane of symmetry right so the centroid will lie on this plane of symmetry right so let's say that the centroid is somewhere here let's say that this is the location of that centroid let's say that this is that point c so now the coordinates of this centroid will be um, we can say that this will be uh, this along the z right so this length will be we can say that this length will be z bar this length will be minus uh, and this will length will be minus x bar right or we can say that this is x bar but it is in the negative direction right so let me write that this is x bar and this will be y bar right so now we can say that the centroid coordinates x bar y bar and z bar right so now from the plane of symmetry we can conclude that y bar is equal to half of this length right this 240 so we can say that y bar is equal to 240 mm divided by 2 so this is plus 120 mm right this is in the positive y direction right so now we know y bar so now we have to locate x bar and z bar right so for to locate the x bar and z bar we can only consider this geometry right this quarter circle right so now if we consider this quarter circle so we can locate the centroid of this quarter circle right so that will give us that this point right so let's say that this is that point right let's say that this is that c dash point right c dash so in simple problem we have determined uh, the centroid of a given sector from this uh, vertex right and that formula for this length is this length let's say that this is the location of this c dash from this center right so let's say that this length is let's say p right so i can say that this p length is equal to 2 divided by 3 or sine of alpha divided by alpha we have already determined this right so i have already done one tutorial on this that how we determine uh, this distance for a given uh, sector right so i will give the link of that video in the description so this is that sample problem that i have already done right so this is 2 divided by 3 r sine of alpha divided by alpha and this alpha angle is the angle of the symmetry right so if we consider this as an axis uh, of symmetry so then this alpha uh, this axis of symmetry will divide the whole angle into two equal parts right so if we consider this as an axis of symmetry right so then this will be our alpha and then this will be our alpha right and since this whole angle is the the quarter circle makes 90 degree and 90 degree in radian is uh, pi divided by 2 so this means that alpha in this case is pi by 4 right pi divided by 2 divided by 2 so this is pi divided by 4 so now if we put pi divided by 4 in this equation and we know the radius of this uh, quarter right so the radius is 120 mm right so we can put it in this equation so then we will find this p length right so this p length is 2 divided by 3 r is 120 sine of pi divided by 4 divided by 4 right so this will we can find it is a 2 into 120 into sine of the calculator need to be in radians right so this is pi pi by 4 and divided by this is also pi by 4 right this is pi divided by 4 right this is sine of alpha divided by alpha 
right. So, this is a 3 into pi divided by 4. So, this gives us 72, right. So, let me write that this is 72.03, let us say 72.03 mm, right. So, now if if this is that p length, so then this angle is uh, 90 divided by 2. So, this means that this angle is 45, right. So, then if if I represent those uh, axes here, right. So, then our x axis is in this direction, right. This is our positive x. If we look into this quarter circle from this direction and this is our z axis, is right. So, then this is p. So, this angle is 45 this is p this angle is 45 this angle is 45 right so if we resolve this p length into its components we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this right and since the angle is 45 so both components will be equal right so so let's say that th this this length will be p cos of 45 and this length is p cos of 45 but as we can see that the origin is located here right so we are interested to find this length right. So, this length is our z bar and this length is our x bar, right. So, we can say directly that x bar is equal to p cos of 45, right. So, p we can find p is uh, 72.02 cos of uh, pi 45 is pi divided by 4, right. So, since the calculator is in radians, so I will use pi by 4. So, this is pi divided by 4. So, this is 50.93, right. So, x bar is 50.93 and since the positive x direction is in this direction, so this length is negative. So, I have to write this as minus 50.93. And similarly, if this is our z bar, so then we have we have to subtract this length, right. This is p cos of 45, right. So, then we are interested to find this z bar. So, then z bar will be equal to the radius this whole is the radius, right. So, radius minus p cos of 45 degrees, right. So, radius is 120 minus uh, p cos of 45 is 50.93, right. So, 50.93. So, now 120 minus 50.93. So, this is 69.07, right. So, this is 69.07 mm. And this is also mm, right. So now we can say that the the coordinates of the centroid are so x bar is we can write that x bar is minus 50.93 and the y bar is this plus 120 and the z bar is 69.07 and all these are in mm, right. So, these are the coordinates of the centroid of this homogeneous uh, solid cylinder. So, I hope you people would have understood this uh, particular problem. Kindly like my videos. If they helps in your learning, also subscribe my channel.